Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. And we just took our first shower in six days. You're welcome. Today we are in beautiful Devil's Tower. Look at that back there. Look at that. Wyoming. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic here. Oh, and what's this? It's my finest ascot, if you will, because today we're celebrating a whiskey that was gifted to us, that was picked, hand-picked, mind you, by one of our favorites and yours, Mr. Fred Minnick. And uh, I don't own an ascot. This is a flannel, and I, it's, I'm not gonna be able to taste with this on, so it's gotta go. <laughs> uh, but today, we are gonna be tasting two Woodenville bourbon whiskeys. These are uh, both single barrels, and one of them was uh, picked by Fred Minnick himself, and the other one is a local single barrel store pick that was provided for a store in Bend, Oregon. It says it was a single barrel that was selected for, so our understanding is that they didn't actually pick that one. We're not looking to nitpick either one of these whiskeys. We're just curious what one of the finest palettes in the world picked out versus what was shared with a local store. So we're not looking to get too serious here today, but we are gonna start with the one from our local store. This is a 120.12 proof whiskey and Woodenville, of course, Washington State. Uh, we enjoy their whiskeys and this is one of my favorite whiskeys of the last year. All right, well, the sun is setting behind us. We're gonna run out of light pretty quickly. So let's get directly to this tasting. We're gonna check out the nose on our single barrel store pick. First, the local one. Huh, I really like this whiskey. A long time ago, I sampled Woodenville 90 proof and thought it's a little thin. If only it had more oomph, I think I'd like it a lot. And then we found this bottle and it's really, really tasty. There's vanilla, caramel, and a boatload of sweet milk chocolate on the nose here. It almost smells a little spicy, like it's gonna have a, a little kick to it. You ready? Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Wow. Delicious. It's such <laughs> good whiskey. I love high proof Woodenville whiskey. Mm. Lots of vanilla. Mm. Oh gosh, it just, the, I'm already to the finish. Like it just kind of came <laughs> back and then like, just was sitting on my tongue and it was lovely and it's like a coated and it was yeah like a totally. caramel delicious it's a nougat it doesn't go away like it's no it's almost like a candy bar and you, you take a bite mm. and it's too melty it doesn't leave your tongue yeah it's been a long time <laughs> since i've had this might have to have a little bit more yeah i think we should have a little bit more let's take another sip let's see if we find anything else definitely a lot of vanilla in there mm -hmm. like a ton of vanilla there is a little spice, a little bit of spice. Mm -hmm. um, not offensive in any way, like baking spices, very easy on the palate. This is lovely. That 120.1 proof point is not offensive at all. It gives you such a nice little warmth. And I was just thinking about how far I've come because <laughs> I feel like, you know, eight, nine months ago, I've been like, woo, that's, woo, that's hot. <laughs> And now it's just perfect. Plus, it's like fall and the weather's great. And Look I'm at this setting. I mean, what just... a great place for reflection. Yes. I think it's fantastic. Well, I really like this whiskey, and I think it's time that we get to the Fred Minnick pick, which, by the way, this was sent to us by Jeff. He sent us a lot of great bottles, and this is 118.7 proof the Fred Minnick pick. You can see um, either Jeff has a label maker or he has the best penmanship that I've ever seen in my entire totally. life. And uh, and I just want to make one more flavor note because uh, oh. I took a sip. And this is a note I haven't, I don't think I've ever given before. I got a little raisin on that. And I didn't want to spoil. It's going to happen sooner or later. I know, and I didn't want to miss this opportunity to share that new note with you. And why would you? I know. Just Fantastic, really well done. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Sharon is caring. Oh, that's good. Where'd you get that water from? Spigot. The jug? <laughs> <laughs> the jug's got good water. Okay, right. Fred Minnick pick, 118.7 proof, about a proof and about a point and a half lower proof. You know me, I gotta compare. Yeah. Ooh. Actually, the store pick has like a a sweeter nose, almost like a strawberry nose now. You think so? I think it's like a, ch I, I get a lot of charred oak there. Like mm. all of a sudden there's more wood there than I thought mm. there was. I don't know, the Fred Minnick pick is very pleasant. 
it, yeah, it's similar. It's I, like, I get a lot more caramel. There's definite similar notes to it. To me, it's not as sweet on the nose, but it almost smells balanced. Yeah, I'm looking for a solid balance here. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. All right. Cheers. And cheers, cheers, Jeff. Thank you so much. Well, that was that was easy. That, that's absolutely delicious. What is this? 118? Yep. Well, it didn't drink like 118. Nope. Did wow. <laughs> like you wouldn't, I don't know if it was because the other one drank. Wow. It wasn't even, it didn't even like cross my mind that it was barrel proof. Didn't phase you. No. Mm. Well, that's, that's stunning. I actually think the mouthfeel is better on this one. And the other one has great mouthfeel. So it's really hanging around here. Flavor notes though. Mm. It's more like a light brown sugar and maybe like a, um, like a, Dare I say a plum, like a sugary plum that's been cooked down a little bit? I'm getting like a syrupy a, plum. I'm getting a ton of brown sugar on this one. The rich caramel is almost like saucy enough that I'd put it on ice cream or something. Wow. This one's spicier. Mm. It is spicier. This one is definitely spicier than the other one. Yeah. Ooh. I'm wondering about the balance now. I have to go back and taste the other one because it, I, this totally comes down to personal preference, and we're not going to say like one of these is better than the other. I know. We're going to say which one. Somebody was wrong. We're going to say which one we prefer because let's be clear, they're both very, very good. I like a balanced whiskey with a little bit of spice to it, but something about the uh, non-minute pick is just so sweet and, and lovely mm -hmm. that I, at this point, that's where I'm going. But the spice on this one is starting to win me over a little bit. Just and not I, sure yet. And I will say that they're both delicious. I mean, there's no like winners and losers, I don't think, in this one. They're just, they actually do taste very different from each other. The store pick is sweeter, the fried minute pick is spicier. See, it's another flavor profile thing. Yeah, and on a given day, you could mm. probably go either way on these. I am getting strawberry notes on the Woodenville store pick, but I'm also getting peppery notes on it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back. See, now I'm doing the A-B testing. Yeah, the local store pick here is giving me a lot more oak all of a sudden and supercharred oak. There's a little smokiness there. A little chocolate is still hanging around. Ooh. Man, that is really tough because they both have a great mouthfeel and great finish. I think we've seen enough from these. They're both very good and yeah. there are some Woodenville single barrels coming to Central Oregon in the very near future to both Bend South and Trailhead. So if you live in the area, keep an eye out for those. We love both of these, but final analysis, who have you got? So I think the Fred Minnick pick is perfect for a more seasoned, bourbon drinker but you guys know me I like things a little bit sweeter and so for me today the store pick wins and for me you know I don't fancy myself any sort of seasoned anything uh, and I'm going personal preference on this one I really thought that I was gonna go spicy for a hot second but this local oh. single barrel that was chosen for the store Shocking. is uh, it's just too good. I, I've liked this bottle since the day we picked it up. I've loved it, really. Yeah. And uh, I've been saving it for a special occasion. I didn't really know for what. Mm -hmm. And we got the opportunity to show it off against this Fred Menick pick. Mm -hmm. And there you go. It's yeah. it's very, very sweet. It's very, very lovely. Again, both of these are awesome. There's no losers here. Nope. These are both killer glasses of whiskey. And, you know, for this location, for what we're drinking, come on. I know. And I just had a little sip of that Fred Minnick and a little red licorice popped in there. Oh, so maybe if we drink these <laughs> a little bit longer, we'll change our mind. Thank goodness we have a little bit left of each of these. So we can keep doing that. But like Phil said, there's no winners. There's no losers. We love Woodenville. We were just excited to try something a little different. Yeah, absolutely. And cheers, Jeff, for the sample. This was fantastic. We really enjoyed getting the opportunity to try that. Yep. Cheers to Fred Minnick. No hard feelings. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> and right. check out Woodenville. Mm, it's delicious. Yeah, absolutely. We can't wait to go to Woodenville at some point. Well, if you've had this Fred Minnick pick, let us know what you think of it. Like, comment, subscribe, and from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. Devil's Tower. We're going to watch Close Encounters today. Oh, yeah.